guys, welcome back. First thing I want to do is thank you guys for watching and commenting. The frame is turning out so much better than I expected and that is because of you guys, so thanks. Uh, I also want to thank everyone on the internet that has like ever shared a video, a picture, a forum thread, anything related to the construction of a frame. I for sure would not have gotten as far as I did without uh, these types of resources, so wow, man, what a, what a great time to live, a great uh, place to be right now where we can share information so easily. Thank you guys. Okay, so uh, the next thing, we hit 5,000 subscribers. I can't believe that. Like, w when uh, the channel hit 100, I couldn't believe that either. And now it's at 5,000. Crazy. Just crazy. I'm like, I'm so glad I can be a part of this and share all this stuff with you guys. And uh, I feel like we're all learning together at the same time. And I've certainly learned so much from you guys. Oh man, so great. I'm just so happy that, you know, I'm not like the only one building a frame, just me talking to myself building a frame. Instead, I got you guys. So thanks for keeping me company and let's um, let's just kick ass. Let's keep going on this journey and finish this bike and I don't know, the sky's the limit. We'll just do whatever is next and keep going. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. I'm going to keep making videos and because this stuff's just way too fun and so yeah don't worry okay enough chit chat in this video we are making a seat stay fixture and uh, it wasn't in my plans originally I was hoping to use the um, the little fixture block I made for the chain stays but because seat stays um, are mitered at two angles there's like the side angle where it uh, attaches to the uh, the seat tube and then if you look at the frame from top down there's also the top down angle so yeah I had nothing to hold the tube at these uh, two angles at once and so I decided to make a fixture so uh, if you do an image search for a seat stay fixture you'll get lots of great reference and this is how I start any project I search images first because it's so fast and you'll be surprised how much your design will change after seeing how other people did it. So, um, yeah, I found lots of pics of people using 80-20. And, um, yeah, so my design is like the bastard child of these designs. Okay, now that we know the plan, let's do this. Here I'm facing off the extrusion that sits in the middle between the other pieces of extrusion. Then I cut a notch out of the extrusion that tees the middle part. I did this for both end pieces. Now I'm drilling the holes where the M8 screws will go. Then I had to flip the piece and mill a hole for the head of the screw. I used the drill still in the chuck to line it up. For this part, this is the block that the vice jobs will grab to secure the fixture in the mill.
Now I'm cutting stock to make the four tiny V blocks and two securing bars. I put all the blocks in the vise at once to square them up because I was being lazy. And uh, then I realized later it was a, a very bad idea. Uh, because if one is slightly smaller, it won't be secure and it'll, uh, it just won't face right because it'll be loose. I don't show it here, but I ended up squaring them two at a time. And here's my little blocks, but I decided to change my design a bit and so I made slightly larger blocks to accommodate the design change. Now I need to mill these down into V blocks. And uh, since I'm making four of these, I thought it would be faster to make a little template to hold the blocks. Here I'm milling the template. and I fed it too fast and it bent. So I did it again and went slower. So uh, now with my template, I'm fixturing the fixtures V-block. Oh, the irony. And one of the sides of my template is too high. So I milled that down some and here it is. Cutting the holes for the securing screws. And uh, now I have another problem. The surface of the 8020 extrusion dips down where the channel is. Uh, that's by design. Uh, but because of these little V-blocks uh, sitting on that surface, they won't sit flat. So I'm milling those surfaces flat. <laughs> 